Hi everyone and welcome back to Scrap Addict Creations. I'm Diane and today we are going to be doing the last of our album retreat share from Close to My Heart. This is the June 2023 album retreat. The layout shares today will be Core Memories and Sweet Life. These are single page layouts and they are adorable. So let's get sharing. So this is the last video of the album retreat for 2023, uh, June. There will be future album retreats though. So we'll get to do this again. This one is really sweet. And I know it's sweet life right here. I did leave off core. I do have it in this little, this is my little extras. So here we have the core right here. Somewhere is a C. There you are. Oh, goodness. It is sliding all over. Okay, so I do have that. Um, we were to color it black. I opted not to put this on here because I'm not sure Core Memories is something that Nancy can use as a title. I mean, I'm sure she can use anything as a title and make it work. I'm sure we all can, but I didn't want to add... Like, oh, I have to think about this. I also thought about not putting the houses here, but I really enjoyed coloring them. So that's why the houses are on here. I opted to just go with the antique pink, the yellow gold blend, and the vintage blue blend. So I only used those three. They had added coral into it and the turquoise blue blend as well, or turquoise green blend, one of those. Um, I kept it just with the three and just kind of alternated and followed what was in the picture because, you know, that works for me. And it didn't really look like these were that much of a tone difference. So I didn't worry too much. These are two separate layouts. So this would be like your intro page to your book. I really like this one. I like how they used, of course, my favorite paper and then um, the newsprint paper, which I also love. Um, I added some purple up here. They only had, or periwinkle, they only had it over here and I decided I wanted it up here behind this little grouping. We used the little butterfly punch or stamp again, goodness gracious. And then we did the little posy here and we used the splat for the periwinkle on there. Um, things I like about this is all of these papers and the harbor. Things I'm not as love loving would be this periwinkle, but I think it works. I, I'm okay with it and I'm happy with it. it. It's a fun layout. I had a lot of fun doing that. And again, album retreat is supposed to be about having fun. So then we did Sweet Life. Sweet Life was a lot easier. We'd already done a lot of the prep. All we had to do was add some periwinkle up here underneath the Sweet Life part. So we did that. Um, and then we put this paper down. I needed to grab, what was it I needed to grab? I needed to grab ink for some reason. I don't remember why. Because I, I honestly don't remember why. Goodness. And... Um, in grabbing the ink, all my inks were are magnetized, of course, because they're close to my heart. Ink, the black took a jump and went right here. So I already had Sweet Life on here. I'd already inked it. This is glued with Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. So, of course, it's not coming off. <laughs> it either comes off or it doesn't come off. And this one, it does not come off. So I was kind of stuck. So what I ended up doing was cutting two and a half inches off of the bottom of this piece of paper and pulling this off. So both of these I had on the dark side. As you can see, there's kind of a ripple here and a little tear here. So what I did is I just flipped the paper and used the light side for this one. And then I put a two and a half piece of white here and it's pretty even with this um, border. So, and all both of these are using, again, the Cosette and the mix-in paper, as well as Periwinkle. 
So I was able to salvage this. I'm happy with it. I am so frustrated that I did that with my ink pads. So I will now know do not lift up a bunch of ink pads because one is going to go flying. So just a little word to the wise, if you do, do that and haven't had that problem yet, be prprepared it'll happen uh, we put some periwinkle little dots on here and then we have this little um, piece again i love this piece as a stamp though i'm finding even laying it down on the table and um, or on my mat and grabbing it from the bottom side it's still not going completely straight so i need to get that one printed on the cricut and see how much better I like it. But I do like this little um, box. I think that's a really cute one. Right down here is for journaling. So, and this would be your last page of your, of your album. So if you were using this as an album, I'm thinking we're using these as individual layouts for where we need them. Okay, so that is the end of album retreat. I still have not gotten my, um, my space sponge with the sandpaper back from Nora, but this is what she did. So she wrote a note, um, what each of us wanted. She did, she's doing four of these and these are little clipboard things. She's using my paint pens and she painted this for me. So it's got this little peg that go on the back so it'll stand upright. Um, or I could put it on the wall or something, but they were on clearance at Michael's for 50 cents. So we got four of them and she painted this and put all those little dots when I said I wanted polka dots. So, so cute. I am so excited that I get to play with this and I'll put like a little picture or something on here. But I wanted to share what she, she had done. So album retreat is done for June of 2023. And in the next video, I will be back onto something else. I have no idea. I've been working on album retreat straight. So now I got to come up with what I want to do next. You guys all have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to come and play today. Please like and subscribe if you would like to see more of my videos. Leave a comment and have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.